Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. And for once, I'm quite at a loss um, because I don't know, literally can't understand what the hell is going on. Now, Keir Starmer has said, oh, we're not going to raise taxes for working people, even though he's raising taxes for working people. He's putting tax on petrol. Working people pay a lot of that. Um, he, and of course, that will keep uh, the, that'll mean the delivery of goods being more expensive. It will increase the cost of food. Now, fuel and food as a percentage of earnings for working people are much higher than the rich, of course. So, yes, absolutely, a rise in tax on working people. He's not raising the, the tax-free allowances, so therefore that is another stealth tax on working people. So he's absolutely full of what we like to call in the trade horseshit. Before we start. But the fact is he's talking about, quote, working people. Now, remember, this is a man who can't even define what a woman is. And he cannot define what a working person is either. What's a working person? What are working people? Is a company director who gets up at six o'clock every morning, drives into the office, works 12 hour days, comes home. Is he a working person? I think yes. But according to Starmer, no. Now, it's not just him. Um, James Murray, one of the uh, Treasury ministers, he was on the radio. He was asked six times if he could define what a working person was. And six times he failed to tell you what a working person is. And why is this important? Well, Starmer has said he's coming after people who aren't working. I know. I get it. But he doesn't mean poor people who are on dole or elderly. He's already coming after the elderly. But he means people who get income from, say, stocks and shares or from property. Now, imagine you're an old person who tops up your um, pension by dint of the fact that you've bought some shares and that you own a spare property that you rent out. He's coming after you. Again, screw the pensioners. But there's also the fact that some people own shares that they've bought as an investment for their future while still working and they're going to be punished. But they're working people. Why are you punishing working people? But apparently anyone who owns shares, according to Keir Starmer, is not a working person and is therefore fair game. Anyone who owns a property that they, which they do not live is not a working person. They might have a job, but they're not a working person because they own a property. So let's get this. You cannot save up and earn too much money because he's going to tax you when you die with inheritance tax. You can't give it away because he's going to tax you on the gifts when you give. If you invest it to try and save for the future so that you don't become a burden on society, he's going to tax you for saving and investing. Often in this country, in this country's stock market, weird. And if you decide that you're going to invest your money in housing and then rent it out so that somebody who can't ever get a mortgage at least has somewhere to rent and live. No, again, you're punished for that. How does he think this is going to end up? Well, anyone who can will go because there's no point staying here. What's the point? No point investing. Oh, look, I'll, I'll invest in this and it will grow in value. And then I'll have to give two thirds of it to the government. There'll be zero investment. There will be, nobody will be willing to invest either inwardly from abroad to come in, but people in this country who want to save for their future. What's the point? Well, the point, of course, is poverty and misery. If he can get everyone poor and everyone's reliant on the state, then he's got them by the short and curlies. And that, of course, is the plan. But think about how much money is locked up in the stock market that's helping British companies by having their stock price valued at X, Y or Z because so many people are interested in buying them. If he's going to start punishing people for owning shares, they'll just sell those shares. The stock market will crash. That's your pensions, all your pension funds through the floor. This is the trouble with the likes of Keir Starmer. He's either incredibly stupid, in which case he shouldn't be in charge, or he's incredibly evil, in which case he shouldn't be in charge. Because if he knows what he's doing, then he's deliberately harming people. Or he doesn't know what he's doing, in which case he's too inept to be there 
And as for property, well, if he starts coming after the odd person who owns a spare house that they rent out, we're not talking about the big industrial ones here. We're talking about, you know, mom and pop op operations where you got, you know, two people married, one had a house, boom, we'll rent it out, whatever, be a little investment for the future. Well, they're just going to sell up. And what's going to happen to all the tenants? <laughs> they're out. They've gone. But we, you know, we're in a position we can never buy a house. Yeah, well, tough shit. Look at Keir Starmer. Go live in Keir Starmer's huge mansion. Because I can't afford to keep you now because, you know, the rules are there. Keir Starmer's made it impossible for me to keep this house. And then they'll take their money and then they'll do what everyone with a brain will do. Get the hell out of Dodge. It is an absolute joke. Now, there are about 2.9 million private landlords in this country. Imagine if they all sold up. House prices would crash. I think, oh, that'd be nice. Poor people can buy houses. No, they won't. Are you kidding me? First of all, everyone or everyone with a mortgage, for example, will be sitting there virtually with negative equity. The mortgage companies will collapse because they're suddenly worth nothing. And the law is very, very secure on what they've got to be worth in order to lend. So the mortgage companies won't be lending anything. They'll be busy getting the money in from all that negative equity that they're holding on their books. You know, and it's just a joke. And people who want to move can't move. And so there's people going to be in the wrong kind of house. Old people won't move. He wants to put stamp duty up, for Christ's sake. Nobody can afford to move. He wants to destroy the value of homes. This is the plan, of course. Destroy the value of homes and make people can't sell their homes and piss off out of the country. Because the only way they can do it is because everyone ties their wealth into their homes. Most people tie their wealth into their homes. And so if you destroy that wealth, again, he's got you. This is all part of the plan. Don't think this is accidental. But he can't name what women are. He can't name what working class are. You know, he's never met a working class in his life, has he? My daddy was a toolmaker. He owned the factory, you know. Oh, yes, I was at a very posh school and I don't do this and I die, blah, 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 blah. He wouldn't know a working class person if it's bit him. You saw that in Southport when he walked like robot, like don't look sideways, don't look sideways. And when you see him walking, generally on the news or anything, he doesn't look sideways. He looks straight ahead, fixed. Because he doesn't want to acknowledge other people. Man's a robot. Now, <coughs> how are you going to invest in your future? He's coming after your pensions. He's coming after your investments. He's coming after your property. I tell you what, the price of gold will go through the roof in the next two, three weeks. Buy now. Trust me, it's going up. Here you go. Public service announcement. Thanks very much. Take care. Goodbye.